Down syndrome, or trisomy 21, is a genetic disorder that occurs in approximately 1 to 800 live births. It is the leading cause of cognitive impairment. Down syndrome is associated with mild to moderate learning disabilities. Other problems that can occur with Down syndrome are developmental delays, characteristic facial features, and low muscle turn during childhood. Down syndrome is named after Dr. Langdon Down, who in 1866 first described the disorder well, it wasn't until 1959 that scientists discovered the genetic origin of Down syndrome. What is the genetic origin of Down syndrome? Down syndrome is caused when an extra copy of the a chromosome is created on the 21st chromosome. The 21st chromosome is what causes all of the characteristics of Down syndrome, and also is why it is called trisomy 21. Since the early 1960s, much research began that influenced the care of children with Down syndrome. During this time, a genetic test became available to see if children had Down syndrome while they, before they were born, and soon after children would become institutionalized. In 1964, a pair of scientists named Dr. Stedman and Dr. Eichen studied and found that, that institutionalization was negatively affecting the children in, in the institutions. This was the start of the turn towards a multidisciplinary approach towards treating children with Down syndrome. Finally, in 1972, the Park trial occurred. This was a landmark trial that won the declaration that every child has a right to a free and appropriate public education program, regardless of mental ability. I have known that I wanted to become a teacher since my senior year of high school at Brother Rice. When I entered college my freshman year at Eastern Illinois University, I decided to go into history with secondary education. I soon realized that this was not for me. It was Christmas break my sophomore year when I was playing with my cousin Aiden. Aiden has Down syndrome, and I soon realized that I had a passion for working with kids with disabilities. It was at that time that I changed my major to special education. I became involved with the Student Council for Exceptional Children, the special education organiza organization on campus, and that summer I got a job with Oakland Park District, Special Recreation. Soon after, I transferred to Trinity Christian College, and from there I am continuing my education to become a special education teacher. If it was not for Aiden, I may not have never found my passion, and it is because of him and how much life and love he shows to everyone that I love him very much. He can brighten anyone's day with just a smile, and I feel the same way about every child with a disability that I have worked with, whether it has been for school or for camp.